Hi, so we are here now with Scott and Rose and his beautiful car. So tell us something about your car, like a little bit about the story. Uh, this is a 1970 Deuce Yanko Nova. It originally came with a Chevy LT1 350, which we have raced and had some fun with. But now we put a ZL1 aluminum 427 motor and we have this car uh, that we take out to the supercar reunion and do some racing and have some fun. And then we're going to restore it and bring it back to Macaca next year. Wow, so have you won any award? Uh, we've won a couple of pick awards, but this is more of a fun car. And next year we hope to win some awards because wow. we'll restore it. This okay. has been really used for drag racing, mm -hmm. things like that. Do you have other cars? Yes, we, we restored a 1969 Trans Am uh, Ram Air 4 Pontiac that okay. we did this year. And how big is the engine? Well, this one over here is the... Okay. So this is this is a 427, uh -huh. uh, and we've boarded out to 494 cubic inches. So it's board and stroke. It's Kenny Masano builds our, our motors, and it has a uh, little over 800 horsepower. We did a 981 in the quarter mile out at the Supercar Reunion. Had some fun in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Everybody should come out to that. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So the last question need to be: uh, What makes this car special? Well, this is uh, it's a Nova but it's a Yanko Nova. And what makes it special is Don Yanko, back in the 70s, 60s and 70s, had a special relationship with General Motors and he could get 427 motors, he could get special performance parts that he could order and special Copo ordered cars. He would order these cars and then he finished the manufacturing on it. So he did special stripes on the car, he did special uh, engine performance modifications, had special engines put in it. Uh, you could order this car and kind of set it up special. This is one of 175 Deuce, 1970 Deuce Yanko Novas. And this came with a Corvette LT1 motor, which you could not get in a normal Nova. Mm -hmm. And so they're very collectible, very popular. This is one of five yellow uh, cars, and this is an automatic car. I can't remember the exact number of automatics, but it was, I think, 50. Mm -hmm. And those 50 automatics cars these cars were sent to Hearst Automotive, and Hearst did the conversion to put an automatic transmission in it. So they're really cool. Not only were they modified by Yanko, but they were modified by Hearst. So it's kind of a cool thing. Then what we're doing with this car is we're going to restore this. This is a car that we've used for racing. Okay. We've had fun with it. Uh, when we had the 350 engine in it, we made uh, 600 horsepower. and we, we ran the quarter mile in 1070. We then decided to put a 427 all aluminum uh, motor in it. So it has a, a ZL1 all aluminum 427. We took it out to the track, we, we run a 981, which is very, very good uh, right. for this car. Yeah. It's not a race car, it's kind of a day two mm -hmm. race car. We're gonna bring it back to our shop and we're gonna do a complete full restoration and make it look like one of our other full yeah. restorations. Oh but we're gonna leave the ZL1 motor in it because that's a very iconic special motor. Mm -hmm. And that's our idea of what a great day two car would be. If we owned this car in 1970, we would pull the 350 out and put a 427 uh, all aluminum uh, a ZL1 motor in it and we'd go street racing. So that's what we're going to build for this this car and you'll see it next year. It's going to be very special. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for this. Um, <laughs> and then this car is a 1969 Trans Am Firebird. It has a Ram Air 4 400 engine in it. It's very rare. Mm -hmm. uh, one of 55 and we restored it for this show. Uh, How is the engine on this? It's 400 cubic inches. So it's a Ram Air 4. Really important special motor mm -hmm. that was built for this car. It's a very rare classic car, the first of the Trans Ams that came out, and it's uh, beautiful. We love it. Yeah, is the, uh, the original color this one in white? This is exactly how the car came. So it came exactly like this. It's been okay. restored back to the original. All the Trans Ams came this color and came with the stripes and the special hood and the rear spoiler. <laughs> and then not all of them came with the Ram Air 4 motor. Only 55 uh, came with the Ram Air 4 and this is one of them. Oh, okay. Now, how long did it take you to restore the car? This took us a year. We, a year. we do our, our, all our restorations are done in under 12 months. That's one of the things that Mass Car is known for is that we take the car in and we don't waste a lot of time. We put a full crew on it. And we do all the, all the work in-house. We send some sub-assemblies sub, sub out, but for the most part, we do the paint, the interior, the motor, all those things are done in-house, and that allows us to, to get on the car and get them completed really quickly. Right. And how much is the uh, horsepower? This is, it was rated at 365. It's probably more around 400 to 425. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so do we want to uh, talk about the other one? Yeah. The black one? Okay, yep. let's go over there. My God, this one is so cool. I mean, I love the color and everything. Yep. So can you tell us about it? About yeah, this is a real special car. This mm -hmm. is a 1971 Mustang 429 wow. Super Cobra Jet. Very rare, and this is a stripe delete car. So normally these cars would have a, a silver stripe or an RG mm -hmm. colored stripe coming along the side of the car. This one was ordered stripe delete. So it makes it very unique. It's a true one of one. Um, I think it's gorgeous. Then it has yeah. the saddle brown interior. And this has a very special engine, the 429 Super Cobra Jet with 411 gears. Uh, I believe out of the factory this is rated at 370 horsepower, but probably once again more around 400 to 425. Wow. So tell us about the wheels. Uh, they're Magna 500 wheels. They, they came original to the car. Uh, this is a Mach 1. Uh, and it's a 71 Mustang, like I said. So mm -hmm. this car is owned by Stefano Bemni of uh, Nikki, and we restored the car for him. We don't do too many uh, restorations for customers. We do most mm -hmm. of the cars. We purchase them, and then we restore them and bring them to the show and then uh, sell them at the show. Okay, so do you have any cool story about the cars? <laughs> uh, you know what, I've got a million stories. Uh, this car we thought was extremely ugly when we first got it. Uh, it needed restoration and we did not think it would turn out very well. We didn't like the color combination and we were really wrong. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the more we did as we got going, the car just came alive and it, it's actually beautiful. We love the saddle interior with it uh, and we're really, really proud of this car. Yeah, can we see the interior? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Let's see. Oh my God, just... Everything in here is so beautiful inside. It's so nice. Yeah, it's pretty pretty. I love this one. <laughs> I don't know. It's like yeah. 